Hey everybody, welcome back to Small Talk Japan. On this show, we talk about all things Japan in English. My name is Mitch, and I'm here with Natsuki. Hi, Natsuki. Hello. I love you. Thank you. I love you too. That's it. That's the end of the show. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> Roll that intro. <laughs> Uh, we got a great show for you guys today. We're going to talk about how f- in Fukuoka they have a problem with monkeys. Oh, really? We're going to talk about how there's a new island in Japan. We're also going to talk about how, for whatever reason, Nintendo wants to develop a live action le- Legend of Zelda film. Wow. Sounds like news because I don't know any of them. No,、okay. see, this is a news show. <laughs> You're supposed to give me the information before we, you know. Start. We're also going to talk about how a new a, a Japan sushi chain relaxes their dress code. Oh, what And, happened?、Uh, they probably don't have that. Okay. And we're also going to talk about how Super Mario and Gap team up to make a clothing line all on today's show. Okay. Let's get started. Sure. How are you? I'm good. We'll talk about how, our, how am I and what happened for the production of this, school, this show after. After we do the news, okay, so we do the news first. Natsuki, I know you don't watch our show because、no. you hate us. I know, I, I know. I love you guys, I do. You guys equals you, you're on the show. I am, I including me, I love <laughs> us. <laughs> What do you mean? Why, why you say you, I hate this show? But、okay. anyway,、mm-hmm. if, you, if you watch the show, like our, our viewers and our listeners do, then you'll know that we're gonna go through all the news first, all right, and then after we do the news, okay, we'll screw around and talk about dumb stuff, all right. So let's get to the news. Here we go. Fukuoka, a six year old boy injured by monkey bite. Total of 11 victims since September.、Wow. This morning at around 7 40 a.m., super specific, a mother reported to the fire department、uh, in Fukuoka that her son had been injured by a monkey bite. According to the police, a six year old boy and his mother were in the front of their.、Uh, Were at the front door of their house to see their older brother, an elementary school student, off to school when the boy was suddenly attacked by the monkey. He was bitten in three places, including his head and back. Scary. Suddenly attack, right? You don't even think about the monkey will attack you.、Wow. I've never seen a Japanese. Ah, I've seen a Japanese monkey once from a car. In Yakushima? No, I, th- I was in.、Uh, Biwa, Biwa Ko. Oh, okay, Shiga Prefecture. Shiga, and I was, I was doing my,、uh, my boat license with Norm、All、from、right. Tokyo Lens,、mm-hmm. and we were driving back from the lake, and I was like, oh, it's a monkey! And that's the only time I've ever seen a the monkey. The wild monkey. Yeah, but it's、wow. the only time I've ever seen a monkey. Yeah, so, you know, we have Yakushima in Kagoshima, right?、Yep. I see a lot of wild monkeys there. Yeah. So if you go, especially in the winter in Yakushima, they have all the monkeys in the, the onsen or whatever it is. There's some, some place that they all.、Uh, is that Yakushima? No, it's not.、That's、it's maybe Oita. Oita, okay. No. Dokka ni ne. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. Right, whatever. I'm not interested in monkeys. But if you see a <laughs> Japanese monkey, two things that you should know about Japanese monkeys. One, Don't look at them in the eyes like I am right now. This, this, no good. They will attack you. And two, for whatever reason, they like to go for guys' balls. Eh, s u g o i Why?、Mm, I don't know. They、it's、know a, that it, if they hit the ball, it will hurt. I think it's because they don't want you to have children or something. I don't、eh. know. Eh. Yeah, Japanese monkeys are usually pretty cool. They're pretty, they're pretty chill. But the, if you see a wild monkey, just make sure you don't look at it in the eyes because it will attack you. And then also. It's not only monkeys these days. You know, wild animals in town become s news, like bear, deer. We don't have bears here, but they, up north they have bears. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So every day on the news, like, Kuma ga demashita. Taru ga demashita. Becoming news. Because they have maybe, they don't have food in the mountains. They don't have food in the mountains. That's why they come from. Uber, Uber doesn't deliver there. <laughs> so those motherfuckers are coming into the city. Right. 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 I love you, Dotsky.、Uh, <laughs> deer,、uh, when they come into the city, it's fine. Like, it's, they just like, come in, they leave, whatever. If you go to、um, uh, with Nara, Nara,、mm-hmm. all the deer, they're, they're used to like eating senbe. Yeah, yeah. So you can buy senbe and give it to the deer, and then they'll, they learn to bow. Yeah. But they're not wilds. They're kind of like, you know, get used to people, right? Yeah, they're kind of pets. Yeah, kind of, yeah kind of like pets. But this monkey or like bear, they are really wild. That's why they attack us. If, if, a, if a monkey attacked you, Natsuki, what would you do? I don't know. <laughs> It was so scary. I will run away. I will run away. <laughs> And then if I run away, they will chase me, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I don't, I don't, there's no advice. 
uh, on what to do during a monkey attack. But I, my advice to you guys, if you come here to visit, is just don't look at the monkeys in their, in their eyes. Okay, I won't. And that will avi avoid most problems. Okay. Uh, okay. Go just for the, it. Uh, don't close to them. Yeah. Don't look them in the, their eyes. Told you. Don't shout don't to shout. them. Don't show your back to them. So you can't, don't run away? Yeah, don't run away. And then slowly run away. Don't show your back. Yeah, because if you show your back, it's like, a, I guess it's weakness or something. Oh, okay. Fucking monkeys. <laughs> Japan Hospital de denies LGBT woman. I, I don't like it when they do this. Like, okay. Can we just talk about the gay stuff really quick, guys? Everyone. Everyone's kind of a little bit gay. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody is. If you either, if you're like, oh, I'm totally straight. Oh, I'm totally gay. No, you're not. You're a little bit gay. You're a little bit. You're a little bit straight. Everybody is. Okay. Mm. Everybody's on the fucking spectrum. It's that's that's what it is. It's it's not off or on. It's just everybody's on the spectrum. So when people are like, oh, this person's an LGBTQ plus minus whatever person, I'm like, no, that's a fucking person. Anyway, so let's continue. Japanese people like to categorize, like, you know, broad type, or you know what I mean? Yeah, you're yeah. a woman, I'm a man. Yeah. Anyway, I'll keep going. Here we go. Mm -hmm. A LGBT advocacy group uh, urged the Japanese government on Tuesday to ensure that all pregnant women have access to the same level of medical support after a woman in, the, in a same-sex sex relationship who became pregnant through in vitro fertilization was denied treatment at a hospital. The cases occurred uh, at a time when Japanese hospitals have grown wary about accepting pregnant women unconditionally due to a lack of legislation relating to con uh, conception via donated sperm. Mm. Uh, Koldo Map uh, called the government to issue that all uh, to ensure that all women, regardless of their uh, marital sa status or how they become pregnant, can receive appropriate uh, treatment. Uh, a senior official at the agency who uh, received it, the request echoed that view, saying, regardless of how she got pregnant, there should not be a case where an, uh, a, a pregnancy department refuses an exa to exam a pregnant woman. Mm. Okay, so let me ask you two questions, Nasky. One, you got IVF. I did. Twice. twice. <laughs> yes, twice. How was the experience in Japan? Was it pretty comfortable? For me, it was fine. Yeah, it was expensive, wasn't it? Yeah, it was expensive, but I got the support money from the government. Okay, so that wasn't really. It was expensive, but not super expensive. Okay, yeah, affordable. Affordable. Yeah. Okay. So then, so you you got IVF. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you're a lesbian, you've got a girlfriend. Yeah. Right, and then you want to go get IVF, and they're like, "Fuck you, you're a lesbian. Get out of here." What would you do? I will. And be... how many monkeys would you bring with you? <laughs> I don't know, but what will I do? Like, I want to have my own baby, like not adoption. I will, I want to have my own baby. I don't. How you, do I do? I will not tell them. <laughs> you lie. <laughs> Natsuki opts for lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. no, no, it's a, mm, it's a, it's a difficult question because like, you know, um, even in America, adoption. Yeah. You, you, you. What's it called in, in Japanese? You, yoshi. Yoshi. Mm -mm. Yoshi. Um, adoption. Like, I think if if there's a kid in an orphanage, that's uh, the That's what's an orphanage? I know. Yoshi. 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 It's like he sets, he sets, she sets, she sets, mm -mm. she sets, it. yeah, or orphans, a place for orphans, orphans yeah. yeah. So I feel like if you are a, um, if you don't have a, if you don't have parents and you're a child, instead of being in an orphanage, even being with two gay dads or two lesbian moms or whatever, that's a better environment than being in like a giant box with a bunch of other kids without parents. Mm -hmm. But in America, they're like, oh. If you're a lesbian couple or a gay couple, you can't adopt children. It's like, it's really stupid. But in fact, there are some families or couples and then yeah, there, they, there are, yeah. How do they do then? No, no, no. It's just, it, so America, is, uh, it's a federal, federalist country. So there's the, the country and then there's the states. Oh, I see. And all the, the rules and everything is different depending on where you are. In yeah. Japan, it, basically everything is the, the country. Uh -huh. So that's why. So some places are okay, some places are not okay. Oh, I see, I see. 
Speaking of, um, there's no way to segue to this. There's a new island in Japan. Yay. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Where? What happened? Uh, a small new island has emerged near Iwoto Island, about 1,200 kilometers south of Tokyo, following underwater volcanic eruptions occurring since late last month, according to the Japanese to a Japanese researcher. How is it happening? Like, it it's comes, right there. Look, look. So it comes from under the ocean and it... Yeah. Goes up and yeah. then da -da, there's a mountain. I mean, yeah. island. That's how Hawaii happened. Hawaii wow. happened because of that. Wow. Are they, uh, I they, swear, we, we, we teach you so many things on the show now. Yeah, thank you. It's thank like, you. It's a learning yeah, it's like a yeah, science show, <laughs> science TV. Science and Japan <laughs> show for Natsuki. But anyway, I, is there any camera? I want to see their, you know, island comes from. <laughs> I want to see like, weights, plumes, okay, okay. rose every several minutes during the eruptions, which resulted from magma and seawater interacting and possibly reached the heights of more than 50 meters. Wow. According to spew, uh, uh, occasionally spewing rocks with diameters of several meters. Uh, pumice stones were spotted floating in the waters around the new island and nearby seawater changed colors as a result of the vo volcanic activity. Hmm. So here we go. Natsuki, I'm going to quiz you. Okay. So the Sakurajima Geo Park logo has two faces it's got one on the volcano and then one under the volcano why are there two faces in the sakurajima we live in kagoshima where there's sakurajima <laughs> i didn't even know that you're, you know you're, they're, they're you, you're such... your whole family for a thousand years from kagoshima yeah why are there two faces in the geopark logo for for, for sakurajima so first of all, I've never been to the Geo Park, honestly. And then second, okay, they have two faces in the you know logo because they're the you know two mountains united one. Why would one be way under the? A new mountain came from the bottom, like teeth. <laughs> like <laughs> new teeth. teeth. <laughs> that sounds so gross. Is it? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the logo. Here's the logo. Okay, it's got two oh, okay, faces. Okay, okay. Why are there two faces? Like I said, so the one is the old one, and then the other is a new one. But why is one in the water? It's the, because so it's Sakurajima, coming, so it's what, coming what she's saying, everybody, Sakurajima, the volcano that, that is like three kilometers away from us, is actually two volcanoes that have like merged together to be like one mountain. Yeah. But it's actually two volcanoes. Mm -hmm. You're talking about those two volcanoes, but that's not what this is. So this is the two volcanoes face. What is this one down here? Like I said, it's coming soon. There is a new one. You're you're not wrong. I mean, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but you're not wrong. Wisdom uh, teeth. It's, <laughs> So the reason why there's two faces on the logo, Natsuki, welcome to, Sak uh, to Kagoshima, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> is because there's three volcanoes. Okay. In Kinko Bay. All right. Well, there's actually four if you, in if you include, uh, um, uh, what is it called? Okay. Ah, I know. In Ibuski. What do you know? Ikeda Ko. Okay. That's the lake. The... Ah, uh, Kaimon Dake. Kaimon Dake. Oh, Kaimon yeah. Dake. Mm -hmm. So if you include Kaimon Dake, you have Kaimon, Kaimon, Sakurajima, the two, two, the uh, the two peaks of Sakurajima, mm. and in the ocean there's a volcano under the water. So I'm kind of right. And that's why I said you're kind of wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a underwater volcano mm. that every now and then will erupt, and it'll spew gas, gas bubbles to the surface from under the water. Uh, so I don't know, we don't know when, but some someday it will come up if the big earthquake happened or... Well, okay, so Kinko Bay, yeah. the ocean that's next to us, used to be land, that all used to be land. And then oh. one day, I forgot, like 100,000 years ago or whatever, that whole Kinko Bay exploded. Mm -hmm. And it covered all of Kyushu and some of Honshu with, with like ash. Yeah. And then when it exploded, it made a big hole. And that's why the water came in and we have Kinko Bay. So you're saying that our land concludes a lot of ashes. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. Mm. Everywhere. everywhere. For, mm. for, for many meters. Many meters. And so actually, so now we're, we're, in, we're in Satsumaha and then there's the uh, Osumiha, the, the two sides of the peninsula. They used to be connected with land. 
Okay. So you could walk from Kagoshima City to like, you know, I don't know, Oneji May or something mm, like mm, that. Mm, mm, mm. But you can't do that now because it exploded and make a big hole and then now it's, a, it's water. Oh, that's why it's become like two sides of Yeah, the... yeah, yeah. Oh. That's why. Oh. How do you know? Wow, you're a scientist. You, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Natsuki, I love you. You you had some American friends come in and you took them to uh, Terukuni Jinja, Terukuni Shrine. How many times did we talk about this and on the show? And you were like, I'm going to teach you all the things about the shrine. And then you realize that you don't know anything about Terukuni. No, I didn't. And so you told them, I could tell you if I knew, but I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's true. Hey, do you know about your own country? Yeah. How? I study. <laughs> you did. Fucker. <laughs> Why did I study? <laughs> nah, why didn't you study? <laughs> because uh, I, I got zero interest, you know, that's wrong. Yeah, I will study, maybe. That's what you said when, you, when we had that conversation about your friends six, <laughs> seven years ago. Now I kind of know because of you. Thank you. I got, the, you know, you're my Wikipedia. So uh, a, a, a one quarter Japanese guy born in a foreign country comes to Japan and teaches you about your country. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Japan's most popular revolving sushi chain re uh, re restaurant relaxes employee dress code, allows dyed hair, beards. Oh. Japan uh, takes customer service very seriously, and oftentimes that also means strict dress codes and personal appearance reg uh, regulations for service workers. But this month, Sushi Roll, one of Japan's biggest revolving uh, sushi kaiten sushi chains, has loosened the rules for its restaurant staff. Uh, Sushiro is no longer practicing restrictions on employee hair color or eye, uh, eye color either. Also, new, newly permissible for employees are wigs and even facial hair is okay. Good. Don't you think? I think that's good. So, I have two businesses. Yeah. And in both of them, the dress code is be human colored. <laughs> All right. So, you your school people cannot have like purple hair. Purple, pink, blue. That's out of the rules but okay. anything else is okay so mm -hmm. every single fucking time i hire a japanese staff within two weeks they bleach their hair blonde <laughs> every fucking <laughs> that's time that's true every fucking time that's true every fucking yeah. time mm -hmm. all of them 100 percent. and then they do it and i look at them like you fucking did it <laughs> and they i go how do you feel about yourself and they're like i, I, I should go back to black and then they <laughs> go back to black or brown or something yeah. But that's the rule. Just you have to have human colored hair. Okay. Uh, color contacts. I, I don't think I've ever cared about. Well, it's good. Like, you know, when I go to, let's say, United States, mm. and then they, when they go, I go to the restaurant, it depends on the restaurant. But are they strict about, you know, hair color or, you know, makeup? It, dep it, it depends on the yeah, restaurant. Yeah, it depends on the yeah. restaurant. Yeah. In Vegas, where I'm from, not so strict. The, actually, more than facial hair hair color or eye color what i'm a little bit strict about in japan is tattoos oh well, yeah you can have all the tattoos you want i don't care just don't show them mm -hmm. and the reason for that is because in japan there's still a long history of uh tattoos being associated with gangs in yakuza all oh, right that's right so mm -hmm. people who have tattoos are viewed by especially older people as being scary or bad people mm -mm -mm. and so and i I have to kind of ride the two sides. Mm -mm. Like I know that people who have, especially Western people who have tattoos aren't bad people. Like a lot of my best friends have tattoos, mm -hmm. but so, so I have to understand their feelings, but also I have to understand the, the feelings of the Japanese people who see that in a really bad way. So I just say, Hey, you can have all the fucking tattoos you want. Don't show them. Yeah. That's it. Hey, you had the chance to have tattoos in your life, right? So yeah. why you didn't do it? So when I was, 19 years old i got you can still see it i got two earrings oh yeah earrings yeah on, on my ears mm -hmm. uh and i got they're not they're not like girl earrings they were like boy earrings they're very very thick yeah yeah and so they'll never close but i got these when i was 19 years old and i was like yeah i have earrings and i loved my earrings for like a day maybe two days a day or two maybe days maybe two days why and i was like two days later, i was like fuck these earrings why but because it's hard no it just got I just got bored of them. For two days? Yeah. Uh, so if I have a tattoo <laughs> in like two days, I'll be like, fucking, I hate this tattoo. I, uh, I, I, I get bored of stuff really quickly. I don't have any opini opinion about, you know, people who have tattoos. Yeah. But I saw, uh, one day I saw their tattooing. Yeah. Uh, like they had a, like a tattoo show and I could see 
there. South after- Inc. Did you go to South Inc? No, there was a tattoo show in the park. Actually,、oh, there was there was a giant event five weeks ago called South. Oh yeah,、Inc. yeah, yeah. And there was like there about ten tattoo artists tattooing people live. Yeah, tattooing people live. I Wh- saw that it, live music and a bunch of people performing and everything.、Yeah. It was really cool. I I thought that wasn't really cool. I thought itaso to mutan. It, it looks、oh, hard. Yeah, I mean it hurts, but、yeah. the people that want to get a tattoo like go through the pain. Yeah, I know, but I didn't want. It's kind of it. like childbirth. You know, you've had two children, right? It hurt, right? Yeah. Right, but、yeah. then you have your children. That's right. Right. So、yeah. if you want a tattoo, you 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 fight through the pain, and then you have your your tattoo at the end. Right. Right. right? Yeah, but I don't want to do it because it looks.、Hard. Maybe after that, that's cool. But I don't want to get through that pain. Let's talk about this for just a second. Okay. So because we were talking about this on the radio yesterday, Japanese people don't like tattoos. Some people do. Most Japanese people don't、okay. like tattoos. Okay. Amuro-chan has a lot of tattoos. Everybody loves Am- Amuro-chan. Why? Because she's cool. Because she's cool. <laughs> so in Japan, the actual rule is not tattoos are bad. The actual rule is. Tattoos are bad for the everyday person. If you're famous or rich, tattoos are okay. That's true. That's true. Many artists has tattoo, and they're cool because they're famous. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're in Japan, if you don't want to, if you don't want to abide by the rules, become famous or rich. It. Every it's about everything, isn't it? Like if you want your like opinion right. Be famous or rich, or you understand what I mean? Yeah, it's everywhere. I'm、yeah. just saying that you guys, your tattoo rule stops at a certain amount of salary, and then you're like, "Fuck it, that's cool." That's right. Have fun. Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Speaking of tattoos, this has nothing to do with tattoos. <laughs> Nintendo announces development of live action Zelda film.、Mm. Um. Let me read the news and then I'll actually just ask Josh about this because you have no idea what Zelda is. <laughs> Nintendo Company said Wednesday that it will develop a live-action film based on its hit Legend of Zelda video game series. The movie will be co- co-produced by Shigeru Miyamoto, Nintendo's rep-、uh, representative director and creator of several of the f- firm's best-known games franchises, including Zelda and Super Mario, alongside some other shit.、Um, we have now officially started the development of the film. With Nintendo itself heavily involved in the production, it will take time until its completion. But I hope、uh, you look forward to seeing it. Miyamoto said on Twitter. I have a question. Okay. What is Zelda about? I mean, you know, so Ma- Mario. Ver- Mario. Mario is trying to save Princess Peach from Koopa, right? Ko- Koopa you, kidnapped. You, you know about this. Yes, I do. I'm very proud of you right、Thank、now. Thank you. I'm like I'm super happy on the inside <laughs> right now. You have no idea. So 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 in this case, Zelda, what's he doing in、uh, the story? So his name is Link. Ah,、uh, he's not even Zelda. And his girlfriend's name is Zelda. Ah,、uh, there is a name of a girl. And he's saving the princess Zelda. It's、so, the same fucking thing. Ah,、uh, so okay, Zelda is kidnapped. By somebody. So there's several games in the series, and they all kind of change the story a little bit. But basically, Link, the the guy with the sword、okay. and the shield, yeah, the, the green one,、hair. right? Green one. The green one. Yeah. Let's just、okay. call him the green one from now on. <laughs> so the green one、yeah. is saving the the other sometimes green one <laughs> <laughs> from a red one called Ganon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And and when he saves the the other little little or green one from、mm-hmm. the big red one, then、oh. it's the happy game over. Oh, okay. It's yeah, really simple. Oh, okay. So、oh, okay. So the real live action things it is. So he's he's so fucking saving、stupid. Zelda. He's so fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Natsuki. Uh, yes. You are correct. Okay. I don't know what you said, but whatever. Let's go with it. <laughs> what, what about Dragon Quest? Dragon Quest, you know. Dra- I, I, Dragon Quest is different. That's like mobile game bullshit. I don't know. Okay.、That. Okay.、Uh, so, so Tansi, shut up for a second.、Okay. So, <laughs> let me ask a fellow、uh, d- weeb,、uh, Josh, what do you think about? So, a Legend of Zelda film, I really want to see, but I want to see it like the Mario film. The Mario film was like 3D animated, like Pixar style,、Mm-mm. and it was really, really good. It was really fucking good. We watched it together. We ate pizza and junk food together. Josh, what's your feeling about Legend of Zelda live action? I feel like they could do a good job on it, but 
I originally, like, when I heard that they were going to make a Legend of Zelda movie, I was thinking that they were trying to do something like Marvel, where they're trying to make a cinematic universe. Mm. But it doesn't really make sense if they have a 3D cartoon animated universe and a uh, live action live action one. So to me, it would be a lot cooler if they made it a an animated right 3d animated like 3d like pixar movie because they already have like uh detective pikachu and all that which is like 3d animated. It's, mixed. Oh, it's mixed yeah so maybe they're gonna try and do something like that where it's mixed but i think that they should just keep it all to 3d if they make this movie the same way that peter jackson made lord of the rings mm. i will love it the chances of them making this movie like Lord of the Rings is so 0%. fucking is so fucking low. There's no chance that what this is going to look like in the end is the stupid World of Warcraft movie. Did anybody watch this? I didn't watch it, but I saw the trailer for it and it looked really bad. It's it was horrible, and the only people who watched it were Koreans, and they also didn't like it. In my mind, Link is same as Peter Pan. <laughs> no, but he's kind of Peter Pan. Right, he, he never right. grows up. He never grows up. He's small and, you know. So he's thin and kind of like a young boy in, in the green costume. He's, he's what, what Link is. Yeah. Is every young boy's dream of being a hero. Oh, so okay. they look at Link and they say, I want to be like him. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 a, it's a beautiful story. Mm. I just don't know how they're going to do it live action. Yeah. About who, is, will, who will be. Tom Holland. I called it. Mm. Is he handsome? Like you so know. He's Spider Man. Oh, okay. the, the the current Spider Man. Oh, okay, okay. The best Spider Man. Fuck you guys. Tom Holland is the best fucking Spider Man. Sorry. Fuck all of you. <laughs> no, it's true. He's the there's no better Spider Man than him. Mm. What was that first guy? Fucking I don't remember his name. Fuck that guy. What's his name? Uh yeah, see, what uh, do you even Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. Fuck you, Toby. You look like <laughs> you look like a little girl who's crying all the time. Your upside down kiss was cool, but aside from that, fuck you. Yeah, that upside down kiss was cool. Yeah, I remember that. How many movie. pornos have been made of that, by the way? <laughs> so many. I bought uh while we're speaking about porno and Spider Man, because this is small talk Japan and we do things like this. The I, I later realized that the, the Spider-Man costume that I bought and then later returned on Amazon is a gay man's fetish costume. <laughs> did not know that. No, I didn't know that either. It's from a, a gay man's underwear line. I, 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 like, I, like so tiny, skinny, kind of show. Yes, and you like, can uh, imagine. Oh Yeah, I can imagine. And yeah. I was like, wow, this got to go back. <laughs> Super Mario and Gap Japan team up for new Nintendo clothing line. We got pictures. That's it. That's it. It's got pictures of Nintendo, and there you go. Yeah. That's kind of underwhelming. <laughs> we can buy them at Gap Store? Yeah. Okay. So it's just got Mario characters or Nintendo characters on Gap clothing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so let's, let's, just, let's just confess that every single day on Facebook, I get an ad for uh, Power Rangers... Jaji, what's the name of the I don't know. Uh, How do you say sweat, sweat, sweat suit, sweat suit. Mm. And it's like 400 US dollars. And I'm, I, why, uh, why are they so expensive? Because idiots like me, <laughs> idiots like you, idiots like me really want to fucking buy this. Hey. I'm, they're, they're mostly sold out, which is, you know, whatever. But like, but I, I, I just, I, I'm dumb. I don't know. Like, I just keep looking at this and I'm like, I want to, I want to, it's from a company called Superco, I think. Superco. And, no, you can't do that. Like, uh, Co Power Rangers. Once I show this to you, Noski, you're going to be like, oh my God, I really want to do that too. Really? Are you sure? Let me see. Mm, I'm, I'm not actually very, look, look, look. Okay. <laughs> That's like three hundred and fifty dollars. Expensive, wow! So I'll, I'll, it, it looks like rugby players, like rugby costumes. No, 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 it's Power Rangers, dude. Easy. You have no idea. I was, I think I was eight years old when Power Rangers came out. I don't know. I'm Power like, Rangers, like, like five of them, different color superheroes. I'm gonna let you keep going on this one because I want to know where this goes. Let's go. Keep going. Power Rangers, they fight against the uh, evils, right? Like Japanese hero action. Right? Yeah. And what else do you know about Power Rangers? I know Turbo Ranger. You know Turbo Ranger? 
My hero was not Power Ranger. My hero was Tower Le- pa- No, 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 Top Ranger. So this is how Power Rangers happened, okay? In Japan, Power Rangers happened in the early 90s. Yeah. Okay. When I was a child. When you when we were both children. Yeah. Don't don't act like you're a different age from me, <laughs> motherfucker. Uh, and then this Jewish guy. Okay. Okay. He came to Japan. He was sitting in a, in a hotel room. I forgot his name, but he's a billionaire. And he was watching Japanese TV in, a Jap- in, in Tokyo. And the Power Rangers came on. And this Jewish guy was like, motherfucker, once these guys put on their suits... You have no idea who's in the suit. Right, right. That's right. And all of the expensive parts of the Power Ranger TV show are the action sequences. That's all the, that's the expensive part. When the actors are just talking to each other in a hallway, like, hey, blah, 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 whatever. That's, that's all completely easily produced. So this very smart Jewish man said, I'm going to import this to the United States. So what he did is he paid Bandai or whoever, I don't know, Josh Google it, whoever fucking made Power Rangers. And he's like, I want to buy all the action sequences of your TV show. And so he did that. And then he recorded a multinational group, you know, a Chinese girl, white guy, whatever, black dude, all these like different multicultural people outside of their Power Rangers suits talking to each other and combined it together to make the Power Rangers TV show. Wow. And so not only did he make the American version of the TV show, he made it very cheap. Nice. And Smart. made a fucking huge sum of money. Because uh, all the American kids were like, oh my God, I love the Power Rangers. Bone yeah. for it. It was amazing. So when Bandai or Bandai whatever. Sendai, what was the name of the company? Yeah, Bandai. Yeah. The original franchise was uh, Super Sentai, but it was produced by Saban Entertainment. Sa- 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 Saga? Saban. 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 Then there's the, whatever production company produced the first American series. Uh, yeah, the I think the original uh, in America was Bandai. Something like that. Anyway. Yeah, they probably thought like, they stole their our idea. Of course, they no, no, paid. No, no, they so paid for I know, it. I know, I know. So, the, so the idea. The bad character. They could make a lot of money. The bad character was Rita. Okay. Okay. This this Japanese woman who lives on the moon. All right. Her name is Rita. Rita? I think she died. Actually, I, I think her character. I think as an actress, she died. He's in the pink suit. What? I mean, like a uh, bad guy. You're talking about. I'm gonna show you. Okay. Okay. Oh. I see. I have seen this kind of women in the in the Power Ranger. Or like so, her name is Rita. Rita. And the funny thing is, is like the whole time she was speaking Japanese, and so they just like, uh, what is it called? Uh, Dub. They dubbed her mm-hmm. into saying other things. <laughs> so, <clears throat> the plot of the story of Power Rangers in Japan and Power Rangers in America was completely different. Uh, but the action sequences is exactly the same. I see. They recreate the new story and then put them together. Yeah. Wow. And so that's why every single time it's like, all right, it's an action sequence time. Not only does does the weather change from sunny blue skies in California to like rainy ass Tokyo, <laughs> but like the because when they filmed the 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 the, the action sequences in Japan, they used uh, a high quality video, Mm-mm-mm. not film, Mm-mm. and so. The, the feel, the look of the footage is completely different between the Japanese action sequences and the California shots. But when they get together, is it okay? Like, natural? So, if you're a five-year-old, you don't fucking know. Uh, that's right, that's right. If you're a mm-hmm. 40-year-old Mitch who owns a production company, I'm like, oh my God, that's different footage. Yeah, yeah. Well, ch- ch- children Kids, don't, don't care. Yeah. yeah, okay. And anyway, the Power Rangers made money in Japan, obviously. But when they went to the United States, they made so much more money. Wow, wow. Yeah. Can we do opposite way? Like, we go to the United States, steal something. And steal. I'm not still pay money, buy something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, Natsuki, what are we gonna buy? What are we gonna steal from the United States? Let's just let's just let's just, we're out of story, so we can fuck around. All right, so what are we gonna steal from the United States? Go. Yeah, I don't know. What do they have? <laughs> Paw Patrol. Paw Patrol. Yeah, it's a big, big, huge thing. Many kids love it. It's already here. It's on fucking. Is it in Japanese? Though? Yeah, it's yeah, it's dubbed. already. Uh... Yeah, Paw Patrol. Everybody loves like kids. You never... So the Power Rangers thing won't work now because everything's streaming, so it's on the internet, so it's available everywhere. Power Rangers only work because that Jewish guy, fucking, I forgot his name. He came to Japan. And he's like, "Oh my God, what is this? That that doesn't happen anymore." Mm. 
uh, guy. Yeah, it, it's got to be things that we don't know yet. So how should I know it? <laughs> Because I'm here. <laughs> Can you ask that question one more time? That's an incredibly smart but stupid. Hiam Saban. Hiam H A I M Saban is the. Is it the, the name, the Jewish guy's name? Egyptian born, Israeli American businessman and producer. So if you guys, he, he, shit, he did is he still some alive? podcast somewhere. Well, is he still alive? Let's find out. Yep, he's still alive. Wow. And so, anyway, he brought the Power Rangers to America.、Nice. Uh, he did some like really, really long podcast. I forgot where it was, but he did a podcast and he explained how he did it. And it was really amazing. Yeah, but his idea is fantastic. I, wonder... I think Rita from the Power Rangers died, though. Oh. Her name was. Who is this woman? Rita?、Uh... Machiko Soga? Machiko Soga? Yeah, she、mm. died in 2006. That's sad.、Mm. Sorry, Rita. Sounds like she was young、And、when she died. Well, I mean, look, look at her. She, dude, if, she was like 70. Oh, okay. I mean, just imagine like, coming home to this face every day. <laughs> What do you mean? So you're married. Yeah. I'm never going to get married. Okay. Because I think that it's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> do you do this to your husband? Of course not. Why not? What do you mean? Like face or like costume?、Which、the costume, I, well, I'm curious about both. Why don't you ask both of those questions? <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? Like. I, Now, do you ever get angry at your husband? Is what I'm asking you. Okay. Do you? I don't. You stepped well, on your, your husband's head. Long time ago, yes. I did. It was an accident. You gotta tell me it's an accident. It's not... Yeah, it was an accident. Was it But, an accident? Yeah, it was an accident. And then only just、uh, for a second. And then I said, sorry. <laughs> and when he's, he's, he's okay with that? No, he made a sound like, ah! That's <laughs> 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 so real, right? <laughs> All right, let's get on to the subject. So, I have to apologize to everybody because I was one full hour late today. Yes, you did. I was、you、a、were. whole full hour late today, and it is 100% my fault. Yes. And I just, I'm sorry, all, both of you guys, Josh and Natsuki, I'm sorry. What should we do, Josh? Well, you guys got me coffee, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> I was hungover too. Uh, oh, uh, you, you didn't say that you were hungover. So here's what happened.、Okay. I'll, I'll explain what happened. So I was hanging out with my youngster staff, <clears throat> and they're all ganky and you know, healthy and everything. And I was like, then usually what happens? Because I'm, I'm a mature adult, 40 year old, accomplished, educated adult. Okay, let's say you're so. Okay. <laughs> let's say you're so. <laughs> so usually what happens is like, I. My Ricky, Ricky calls it poof, poof, ninja poof. I just like at some point during the night, I go, All right, you youngsters have fun.、Uh, old man Mitch is going home. Goodbye. And then I go home and that's it. And it works. It's always worked. Yeah. But yesterday, the place that we were at, one of the guys said something kind of offensive to Ricky. And Ricky, being the gentleman that he is, didn't fight, didn't cause a problem. He just, he just said to me, He's like, Hey, That really pissed me off. I'm, I'm going to leave. I said, hey, that's, that's totally acceptable. That's cool, man. You, you do you. So Ricky left me with my youngest staff,、mm -hmm. third youngest staff. And he's a young guy. And he's probably going to be on the show in the future. And he was like, let's drink, chacho. And I was like, fuck. So I want to go home because I'm old, right? I, 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 have a, I bought a new TV, 65 inches. Whoa. It's stupid. <laughs> it's so dumb. Why? It, I don't know. I was bored. It's, I, I can't imagine how big it is, but it's big, right? It's so stupid big. Okay. Like, I have to. Like, movie theater I have to, big. I have to move my head. Wow. <laughs> so wow. Let's have a party in your house, right? Yeah, yeah, we're going to do that. But anyway.、Okay. Anyway. So, like, so I want to go home and play with my TV, right? That, that's my goal yesterday. But I can't because my, my youngster staff is like, hey, Shacho, let's go hard. I'm like, fuck.、Uh, and I can't ninja poof out of it. And,、uh, and so, like, and then, so then I, I was like, no,、nah, I'll be fine. Like, you know, you know. You, when you get older, you, you, you keep thinking that you're young. You know what I mean? Like, like we're 20. I keep thinking、mm. we're 20, right?、Mm. And, then, and then, like, so stuff happened. And then, you know, when you, you, you do something in Excel or Word and then you close the program and you don't save? That was last night. <laughs> I didn't save my file.、Okay. And so, like, when I, so I randomly woke up today. 
And then it was already... 1.30. 1.30. I woke up at 1.30. Yeah. What time are we supposed to be here today? One. One. <laughs> yeah. Josh and I had a good conversation. I'm, I'm happy yeah, that you guys... Yeah, we catch up with each other. I'm happy that you guys could hang out and whatever, but I'm sorry for being late. It's okay. So... Yeah. I got here at 2. Yeah, apology, accept. I, I got dressed in 10 minutes, came down here, and it worked. Yeah, you look still nice. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love you too. Accept your apology. This, I, this is, a, of all of my life that I've been working, this is the second time that I've done this. The first time that I did this was on TV. Oh, uh, the Kyoto one? I mean, I mean, you, we both at Osaka, and then you missed a train, black train. Yeah, actually, both times that I've been late. Now you think about it, it has involved you. We were partying fucking hard in Osaka back when I was like, I think it was 27 or 8 or something like that. Eh, so not Yeah, it was like okay. 10 years ago. Okay. And then, no, it was 8 years ago. So I was 32. Okay. Anyway, so, so we were partying really hard in Osaka, and I was like, I'm going to go back to my Airbnb, sleep for 10 minutes. Big mistake. I was like, I'm going to sleep for 10 minutes. Then get on my Shinkansen, sleep on the Shinkansen, and then be on TV. And that all happened. It just happened two hours later than I intended it to happen. Yeah, 10 minutes sleep, it's a big mistake. Yeah. You're never going to get up. Yeah. 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 But still. And then I, when I got off the Shinkansen, the whole crew was waiting for me in uh, Izumi in, here in Kagoshima. And I just like got off the train. I just started to do geza, which is like <laughs> going. Did you actually do it? I, I went to do it. Oh, okay. So I was going to do it because it was my fault. Right? Okay. Because today I was an hour late and, and you guys could hang out with each other. And so like, you know, I feel bad. But like TV, when I was late yeah. for TV, yeah. because of the timing of the trains, mm -hmm. I only over, I, I really literally only overslept uh, 20 or 30 minutes. But because of the way the trains time, the timing was, I was four hours late to the location shot. Four. I was supposed to be there at 10 a.m. and yeah. I showed up at 2 p.m. Yeah, you feel bad. I felt I, I felt horrible, Awful. horrible, yeah. horrible, Awful. horrible. And so, so when I got off the train, I went to go dogeza, which is a uh, I don't know how to explain this in English. Like you get on all four your 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 hands and knees and you bow and you say I'm oh, sorry. Samurai style apology. When I went to do that, the director pulled me by my collar. He said, "We don't have time for that. Okay. Let's go." Yeah, yeah, yeah. No time. To we don't need <laughs> that. <laughs> we don't need that. Let's go. <laughs> and I was just like, I, and then, and then we went, we did the whole shoot mm -hmm. the whole day and everything was fine and everybody was happy. And then I got into the car for the two hour drive home and it was two hours of them telling me how fucked up I was. And I was like, <laughs> I know guys, mm -hmm. I know it's my fault. I'm sorry. Yeah. And it was like, you know, you, being late, like if you fuck something up, Right, like, dude, work, work is work, and people make mistakes. But if you fuck something up, I fucked up. I am sorry. I will think about this. I will make sure that this doesn't happen again. That's yeah. all you do. Mm -hmm. So the reason why I was late today is because I didn't sleep in my bed. Where did you sleep? Shut up. So I didn't <laughs> sleep in my bed, and so my alarm was going off in my house where I wasn't. So that's why I didn't wake up. Where were you? Shut up. <laughs> so so my alarm <laughs> was going off in my house so I, when i went when i went home so i called you so i called natsuki because like she's like she's like mailing on you know our group line and everything she's like where the fuck are you people and i called natsuki and i was like at 1 30 right and so like i was supposed to be there at one or supposed to be here at one so i called you at 1 30 and i was like go man and the very first thing you said to me you said uh what did you say emo kita Mm. You just you just woke up right now. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, the person next to me was talking. I was like, shh. <laughs> I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up. And I was like, I'm sorry. I just woke up. I'll be there in a minute. And you're like, whatever. And you just like hung up on me. Okay. Now still, you are safe. And then you sounds like fun. So that's okay. I'm always safe. Yeah. But anyway, I need to learn that I can't drink with my youngsters anymore. They're just too, I just, I'm not that gank anymore. Yeah. Like, what time did you finish drinking? Like? I told you, I didn't save the files. I have no idea. Okay. I mean, I could ask the person I woke up next to and... Four? Maybe later? Like five? I don't know. Oh, my God. There's also... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's also... There's also a bar that I go to called Spin. Okay. And that's dangerous. That's also a big, big problem. I actually helped create this bar. 
But the mama-san never goes fucking home. So then there's no incentive. What do you mean that she never goes home? She lives there? No. <laughs> she doesn't live there. She huh. just she just she stays there really really late. Yeah. And so like if I, so so I go, I have my bars that I go to and then I have my house. And then in between my house and the bars that I go to is spin. You have to stop. I don't have to, but I do. Mm -hmm. And then it's like when I go home, it's like, oh, wow, outside. It's light outside. The sun's up. What's happening? Wow. Sounds like 20s. <laughs> well, you used to do this until you had kids. I know, I did. Yeah, we used to, you know, dr drink late and then have a be, breakfast used, out and like Moss Burger. I used to be Dosky's friend until she had children. Now we're just kind of friends. I know. It's true. Yeah. It's, we're kind of like, you know, brother and sister now. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're, what are you doing? I don't know. What are mm. you doing? All right, guys, that's been our show. Actually, we're going to record a, a Patreon video now sure. for our patrons. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to get on that Patreon gravy train, I don't know what to call it, uh, you can click on the link below. We also have uh, links to all the stories that we featured in today's show in the, in the video description. Uh, like and subscribe, or don't if you hate me, and that's fine, too. You will be fine. Thank you so you much for fine. listening. <laughs> and a special thank you to our Patreon Nazi. sponsors. Thanks for coming in today. Jan I'm Myler, sure. Jen. Justin Perkins, oh, Ellen, buy me Ellen, something. Buy me something. <laughs> Ellen Mary, All right, well, we need it. We Clayton you and I Jump, are have career AKA talk after this. So let's, let's, let's go. We'll get some Corey Smith and Joshua. Yeah. Everybody, thanks for watching this show. See you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you.